regardless of age, we all want a purpose in life. And that is what drives this great grandmother, sharing happiness, one handcrafted doll at a time. Gilma Avalos takes us to her workshop. Inside her tiny workshop in Lillian, Texas, Doris Renfro is always on the clock. When I'm awake, I'm sewing. Renfro's mother passed down the art of sewing. Her grandmother taught her the value of work. She always said that idle hands was the devil's workshop. And so after retirement, her workshop is never idle. The constant whir of the sewing machine, the sound of these little faces coming to life. It takes about 15 hours. At 89 years old, she volunteers her time to make dolls for kids at Cook Children's Hospital. Each little girl uh, is handmade, and there's over 100 little curls. Every stitch in honor of a little girl with freckles and curly hair who's no longer here. She is my little angel. Her granddaughter, Christy, passed away at only eight years old from Rocky Mountain spotted fever. She loved pretty things. Nearly every week, Renfro's daughter, who works at the hospital, delivers about a dozen new dolls. Hundreds have found permanent homes with children. One of them uh, named it Mima <laughs> after me. You could say Mima is Renfro's calling card. Every doll crafted by Mima has curls, those signature freckles, and inside of her belly, a little tag sewn in to let you know it was made with love. If it brings joy to a child, that's your reward. In Lillian, Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. True little lovies. Well, Renfro is a volunteer with the Stitch a Wish program for Cook Children's. It provides young patients with toys and other handmade items to comfort them during their stay at the hospital.